New tonight, a disturbing update to a dramatic takedown. We showed you this video of deputies arresting two men. They say pistol whipped an Uber driver. Well, new at 11, we've learned these men are being linked to more than a dozen other robberies around Orange County. Eric Sandoval is live near the location of one of those robberies. Eric? Yeah, Matt, Orlando police tell me tonight that these two men were basically driving around town targeting people who were just walking by them. One of the victims was actually putting air in his tires. He says he turned around when a gun was pointed at his head, and the two men were demanding everything he had. Orlando police say 37-year-old John David Powell and 24-year-old Nathaniel Lamar Woods terrorized the city of Orlando on Super Bowl Sunday. News 6 discovered their night of stealing actually began here in Azalea Park around 5.30. A man tells investigators he was walking near the intersection of Lake Underhill and Gaston Foster Roads when a car pulled up beside him. He said the two men inside pulled a gun and demanded his car keys, his wallet, and the $40 cash he had on him. At 7 o'clock, that same night, another man says he was here at Shelter at Orlando Executive Airport when a car matching that same description pulled up. Not even an hour later, police say the pair pistol whipped an Uber driver at this Hampton Inn on South Kirkman Road. They say they then robbed a tourist packing up his car shopping at the outlet mall on International Drive. And that is when police finally caught up with them. All right, Chase has a car. This is night vision video taken from an Orange County Sheriff's helicopter as Belle Isle police and sheriff's deputies cornered the men near Cayley and South Orange Avenues. He crashed the port. All right, one's out, two's out, running, uh, running northbound. You can see they crashed the stolen car they were in and ran into the neighborhood. But thanks to the chopper, both were arrested and taken to jail. All right, you're, you guys are on him. You got him? Now, I did talk to the wife of one of the men who was robbed not far from here, and she says her husband was terrified, but she's glad that police actually linked these men to those robberies. Now, those men are in the Orange County Jail tonight. Both are being held without bond. We're live in Orange County tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt? Those guys have been busy. Eric, thank you.